In today's video, I'm gonna talk about how to get rid of your double chin. And are there any exercises that you can actually do to improve the double chin and slim down your face? What's up guys, it's Anthony from AB Fitness Center where we help you to lose body fat, gain muscle, look better and get stronger. Guys, make sure that you subscribe to this video so you never ever ever miss a beat and you can get a step ahead of all the, everyone else in the fitness industry looking for results. All right, so let's roll right into this. So can you actually lose fat around your face? Is this a myth? What exactly is this? Is this something that can be done? Well, first and foremost, let's talk about being in a calorie deficit and just how to lose fat in general. So when you're trying to lose body fat, whether it's fat in your face, whether it's fat anywhere else on your body, you have to make sure that you're eating less calories than you're burning. That's called being in a caloric deficit. So what that exactly means is you have to eat less, right? We all, we all kind of know that, right? But the trick is how do we make this a lifestyle and how do we make it manageable and maintainable? Because when it becomes a lifestyle, it becomes part of your life and it makes it that much easier. You know, people go on all these different types of crazy diets, keto, paleo, this, that, and the other thing, and they do it for a couple of months or a month or whatever it is, they lose a little bit of body fat, but as soon as that stops, they lose everything and go back to their old ways, and then they're back to where they were, again, in this case, with a fatter face. So what you have to do is make sure that you're in a calorie deficit. So what I recommend and what we use at AB Fitness Center is flexible dieting. Flexible dieting basically means that there's no holds bar on what you can eat as long as you fit it into your daily needs. I'll cover that in a little bit. So that's the first thing, first and foremost, if you're trying to lose fat in your face, you have to make sure that you're in a calorie deficit. Most people, uh, they, I wanna lose my double chin for this weekend, I have a wedding or whatever, it's like, you have to make sure that you're losing body fat first and foremost, and you're not gonna lose real fat in two days. It's just not gonna happen. So you gotta be realistic with it. I guess before anything else, I should kinda talk about, you should have put some time into dieting. It's not gonna happen overnight. All right, number two, let's talk about the second point here, is genetics. So face fat, double chin is mostly genetic. Aside from having a high level of body fat, Genetically, your body is already pre-programmed to put fat in certain areas over others. This is why some women are more hippie, some uh, men carry more fat around their stomach than others. That is genetic. Some guys carry fat in their arms more than their chest. It just really depends on the person. So genetics are gonna play a part. So for me, my face just never really gets fat. So I have kind of the opposite problem. When I diet, <laughs> I actually look like you know, 50 Cent in that movie where he gets cancer and his face like gets all drawn in. That's exactly how my face looks when I diet because just genetically, I don't carry a lot of fat in my face. I can get quote unquote really high in body fat and you really wouldn't be able to tell from my face. But everybody's a little bit different. That's why I'm talking about genetics are important. So you gotta understand that. Genetically, you might have a more rounder face than others. But if you want a chiseled jawline like this, you gotta make sure that you're dieting first and foremost. So just keep that in mind you know, genetics play a part in this, but we're gonna talk about how to overcome that in a minute. The second thing, a uh, third thing actually, this is the one that makes me laugh the most. Are there certain exercises that you can do to lose and get a chiseled jawline? I see this commercial on YouTube, on TV, with people putting this thing in their mouth, and they're screaming, they're doing this, <laughs> trying to get, I mean, there's nothing you could really do exercise wise for the exercise wise for the muscles in your face. There's all these stupid if you YouTube it or Google it, you'll find all these dumb exercises you can do. Stretch up, stretch down. It's not doing anything. Okay? You have to make sure that you're in a calorie deficit. You have to make sure your body's actually burning body fat first. If you're not burning body fat first, nothing's gonna happen. Okay? You could do this, you could ah, 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 one of those things in your mouth. All you want, nothing's gonna happen unless you're actually in a calorie deficit. So there's no exercises special that you can do. There are certain exercises that you should be doing already to lose body fat and look better, period. And that's things like squats, deadlifts, bench press, overhead press, pull-ups, pull-downs, bicep curls, tricep extensions. All things like that are gonna change your body. Doing, putting something in your mouth, ah, 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 is seriously gonna do nothing, okay? So just get that out of your mouth, uh, out of your mouth. Yeah, yeah, literally just take it out of your mouth, that thing, it doesn't do anything. Uh, or stretching up and down, looking toward the ceiling. None of that even works. And actually, quick little funny story. So I had this, uh, I was dating this girl at the time and 
Uh, she complained about her double chin all the time. So she turns to me and says, what can I do for my double chin? I said, listen, just every day, just do 20 reps of this. Look up to the ceiling and look down. Look up, look down. I literally made it up. A couple of weeks later, I, I never told her that it actually did anything. Uh, but a couple of weeks later, we're looking through like one of those stupid magazines, like the ones that you get to your mailbox and you can buy shit from. Uh, so looking through the magazine, and there's a picture of an item. Literally, it's like a piece of plastic you stick under your neck and you go up and down. You like you contract it and squeeze. And I was like, I could have been a millionaire. I could have invented that little stupid thing. That doesn't do anything. Gimmicks, people. Gimmicks. No gimmicks here. All right. So next thing, a fourth point. You can't spot reduce. You cannot tell your body where to burn body fat. So literally, if I wanted to improve the definition in my stomach, and I just lie down on the ground and did crunches all day, that's not gonna give me better results if I didn't do it at all, okay? So you have to make sure that you're in a calorie deficit and your body's losing body fat in order to lose fat everywhere. So when you lose body fat, it's kind of like when you squeeze toothpaste out of, a tooth, out, of a, you know, out of the toothpaste thing. When you squeeze it and toothpaste comes out. You can't control where in the toothpaste it's coming from to come out. So like, you know how like you could use a whole tube of toothpaste, but there's still toothpaste in the tooth, in the, in the container. It's the same thing with your body. If you squeeze from the bottom, it's going to come out, but it's not necessarily all of it's coming out of the bottom. It's the same exact thing. You lose body fat, you're going to lose toothpaste out of the, out of the tube, but you know, you can't control from where. So if you're unhappy with the way your face looks, you're just going to have to keep dieting. And I promise it'll go. The good thing is, and here's a good point, your body always loses body fat around the heart first. Remember, your body's main goal is to keep you alive, keep you healthy. That's your body's main goal. It doesn't care how you look. doesn't care about your jawline. Uh, so your body just wants to keep you healthy and alive. So you're always going to lose fat around the heart area first. So typically, it's usually from here up that changes. Especially with me, one week in a diet, I notice my face shrinks down. It's just the way my genetics run. And everybody's a little bit different. So you got to make sure that you just keep, keep dieting. All right, so what are some actionable points that you could take from this video? Well, one, don't be fooled by any of these gimmick stuff, guys. You know, you click this video because obviously you're struggling with getting it or having a double chin and wanting to get rid of it, but I'm here to tell you the truth. And I'm sorry if this hurts. I'm sorry if there's no quick fix to this, but if you want to improve the way your face looks, your double chin, if you want to get rid of that area, you have to. There's no way around it. You have to diet. I recommend starting flexible dieting. You can download an app on my fit, on, uh, on the app store. Uh, it's called My Fitness Pal. It's a very basic calorie counting app. Literally, type in what you're eating every day and track it for three days. Get the averages and track your weight on the scale. And if you start noticing your weight's trending down, you're burning body fat. And then just stick with that over time, and you will keep losing body fat, and your face will slim. Dan, I promise it's just a matter of how much body fat you have versus how much you have to lose. That's the biggest actionable tip today. And don't be fooled and buy or save your money buying those stupid things. Ah, uh, just ignore that. Uh, this, this next little tip that I have is for guys. And this one will help because us men, we can kind of hide this. So, and I kind of do this too. So I'm letting you in a little trick. So I have the opposite problem. My face doesn't really get fat. But my face gets too skinny. So... What I do is I let my facial hair grow out so you can't tell how skinny my face is getting. But it could work the same in the other case. So if you have a double chin and you want to hide it, all you got to do is shave up and tight to the jawline so it keeps everything tight looking. Okay, my, my beard is, is what it is genetically. It doesn't grow in thick. So I have like a little patchiness. But just having a little bit of stubble on my face, again, it's growing in. Having a little bit of stubble on my face definitely helps to kind of hide how skinny my face gets. So same thing, guys, if you have facial hair, you could trim it up and kind of get a nice clean jawline like that while you're losing body fat, while you're doing the things that are actually going to help you to lose the double chin. All right, so let's summarize this for everyone again. So first and foremost, no gimmicks. There's no thing you can do, no stupid exercise that's going to help you lose the fat in your face and lose that double chin. So don't go like this. Don't do any of these things. Uh, don't do any of that stuff. doesn't work. Save your money. So instead, download MyFitnessPal. Keep track of how many calories you're eating every day. Focus on losing weight on the scale every day. And just keep doing that over time. And you'll end up losing more body fat. I have a ton of videos on this channel 
about losing fat. So just make sure you click away. I'll probably put a video somewhere here and you can just click uh, and watch another video on how to actually burn body fat. And again, just do it over time. Remember, you can't spot reduce. And guys, you can hide your double chin with some facial hair. All right, guys, hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please drop a comment below and let me know if you fell for any one of those stupid exercise things that you can do to burn fat in your face and lose your double chin. Also, head on over to abfitnesstrainer.com slash free. I'll give you a free special report to burn some body fat. All right, guys. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all on the next one.